My name is Guy. That's Dean right there. And my question for you today is, have you ever gotten dirt in your diopter? Have you ever been concerned about getting dirt in your diopter? Do you even know what a diopter is? What I'm holding in my hand here is a Fuji X100T. This is my favorite camera. I love this camera. I had a X100S before I had this. My X100S got dirt in its diopter. A little tiny speck of dirt. And it worked its way into my electronic viewfinder. And then whenever I looked through there, that little speck looked huge. And it really bugged me. My concern was, if I could get dirt into my viewfinder on my S, would I get dirt into my X100T as well? And I found out it's kind of a common thing. There were quite a few people that posted on different forums that had the same issue as I did and found out that if I was to send this camera in for uh, repair, it's about $125. And uh, they have to dismantle the camera just to get into this area right here. Because this camera, though it's not weather sealed, according to what I found out, this camera is sealed up pretty well. But there's a weak link, and it's right there. There is a opening where the diopter wheel goes into the frame of the camera. But if you'll take a look right here, Get it? You'll see that I have a little something over my diopter wheel. My Segru solution. What is Segru? This is Segru right here. It's called moldable glue. So it's Segru moldable glue. Anyways, in my research, I found one guy who said he used the Segru moldable glue and he put it over his diopter wheel. Now the interesting thing about Segru is though it holds extremely well, it comes off. You can actually pick this off. I tested it before I put it on my camera to make sure I wasn't going to damage my camera in any way by using it. Google it. It'll explain a little bit more about what this is. Maybe you can find some YouTube videos on it that explain a little bit more about what this stuff is. But what I did was I rolled a little bit of it out. I molded it into place right over the wheel. I didn't press really hard. I just placed it on top and pushed it a little bit and then I molded it. If you wet your finger a little, you can smooth it out real nice and I added a piece over the wheel. And for me, that has been an excellent solution. I have not got any dirt in there. Another little thing about this that I really like is this. On the X100T camera, I love where the back button focus button is. <laughs> the back button focus button. I really like where it is. For me, it's in a great place when I want to go for it. And I, and I do use back button focus often. So what I did was I rolled out a little tiny little ball of Segru and I put it right on top of that button. Now I'm not real hard on my cameras, but I'm not real delicate on them either. They go in my pocket, they'll go in the camera bag, they get banged around sometime. That little piece of Segru has not come off there yet. And I love that it's there because when my thumb is here and I want to back button focus, I'm not feeling for where that button is at. It's very obviously right there. So for me, that has been a great little plus. So anyways, this has been my Segru solution to getting dirt in your diopter. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more videos, hit the subscribe button. If you want to be notified when there are new videos, hit the notification bell. 
Anyways, thank you for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Have a good day. Oh, and a little something else. Did you by any chance notice this right here? That little dealy on the front? I'm experimenting around with a couple things. I might just do a video about it. I've been real interested in nostalgic photography lately. And I just don't want to go back to film. I'm happy in the digital world. Creating nostalgic looking pictures. That's what this little guy here is about. Stay tuned.